Hey, 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 Aquarius, this is your sacred scribe here ready to do your reading. So this is going to be a reading for my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully you can get something out of it, Aquarius. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Aquarius, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of the likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, information can be found in the description box below. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. All right. So we have the Hanged Man, the Seven of Cups, the World, the Emperor, and there you are, Aquarius, the King of Swords. Hmm. I'm hearing that you've been waiting for a change in circumstances. Some of you possibly have been waiting to move, relocate. I'm getting like state to state relocation. Hmm. Now, there may be an this emperor here, I feel like that's one of the reasons some of you may want to be relocating to get closer to this emperor or empress. It's just masculine energy. Tell me about the hanged man. This is Piscean energy. Mm, Six of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. So for some of you Aquarius, I'm getting that you may be in a situation that you're trying to get out of, a romantic situation. I feel like it, it's like you're ready to go, you're ready to move, you have this emperor or empress on your mind. Now circumstances could be swapped where the emperor could be in a situation where they're wanting to come towards you. But it's reading as this is you. But let's see. Whoa. All of them? The magician, the seven of wands, and the three of cups. Yeah. So I feel like this emperor or empress is from the past, Aquarius, for some of you. Now, for others of you, if... if you're not moving towards an emperor, then this emperor is coming towards you. This could be somebody new if it's not from the past. But I feel like if that is the case, then this emperor or empress, when they see you, they're going to know immediately that it's like they want to see where this goes. Okay. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Hmm. There could be some confusion wh where you're at. You may have felt stuck, Aquarius. You're like ready to go. That's what I'm saying. It's like this Knight of Wands. You're ready to take off. So maybe you're in a situation where there's a relationship that you're in that's ending. Nine of Swords. Or you want to end. Because there's a lot of anxiety and fear surrounding this. You could also have a lot of options here. You're really thinking about what it is that you want in life and what makes you happy. Is the person that you're with make you happy? Are they emotionally fulfilling or is there something better out there? Because you're realizing you have a lot more options. And have you really explored these options? I feel like you want to explore. If there's nobody that you're going towards, Aquarius, I feel like you're wanting to explore. If you're not with anybody, you're wanting to explore. You may feel stuck in a, in, in a situation, maybe, I don't know, in a workplace or because we do have the Three of Cups here. 
and the seven of wands. So there's some defensiveness here. If you're with somebody, I feel like you're trying to set boundaries with this person, but it's not going well. Hang on, I dropped the card. Okay, so we have the Seven of Pentacles here. I'm getting this again for those of you who are moving towards somebody from the past, this emperor or empress. You're wanting to reunite with this person. You're wanting to put in time and effort into this situation. This is your emotional fulfillment, this person. Maybe they they reach out and contact you. They are at a distance and you decide to leave. Tell me about the world. Tell me about the world, about this moving. Yeah, see, the fool, you're taking a leap of faith. You're leaving the situation where you are, Queen of Cups. Yep. The High Priestess. You're not going to say anything. You're doing this on the down low. Yep. Now, it could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Who is this Queen of Cups? I feel like it is this Emperor or Empress. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. The Five of Wands. Maybe there's a couple people because you do have the Seven of Cups here. There could be a couple of options. Like I said, you're wanting to explore your options. So what I'm getting here is there's the Emperor and then there's the Queen of Cups. I feel like they're in the same place though. Like if you're in one state and the they're in another i feel like this emperor and this queen of cups are in the same state or at least near each other let's say the hierophant so we have taurus energy yeah so okay this emperor or empress could be a Taurus. I feel like, all right, how does this emperor or empress feel about you? The Eight of Pentacles, they want to put work into this relationship. You could work with this individual. They want a reunion with the judgment card here. So they feel the same way. Tell me about the King of Swords. This is you. Justice. Yeah, you're you're going to be in the middle of making this decision. You need to use your intuition, but I think you already know. I think you're past this confusion stage or you will be soon. Temperance, you're being guided. The divine is present. Queen of Wands. You're being guided to take action here. They're wanting you in this Queen of Wands state to really step into your power, Aquarius, and go after what you want. Whether that be one person, two people exploring your options. I feel like you need to be extracted from this situation wherever you are, whether this be a state, um, place of living, or surroundings with the people uh, that you are surrounded by it's like the divine is going to pluck you from one space and put you in another so what is your advice here ah three of swords three of swords your advice is to heal right now so while you are where you're at okay even if you're single you're not with anybody it's it's i'm getting location it's the location that you're at. All locations hold energy. You have to remember that. Locations are important. I didn't know that until 2016, 2015. Six of Swords, see, moving. 
So they're wanting you to get ready for moving. They're wanting you to find peace before you leave, find balance before you leave, heal, whatever it needs to be done to heal before you leave, okay? Yeah, Knight of Cups, they're wanting you to clear your heart chakra, okay? Get it ready for this, you know, for love, wherever you end up. <laughs> but your intuition is already speaking to you. So advice for Aquarius. Advice for Aquarius. Flash. Ah, a creative flash of inspiration will come to you and quickly give you the perfect solution. That's cool. So be prepared and look out for this creative flash. Curiosity. Be spontaneous. Wonder. Move forward. Look ahead and stretch above your present circumstances. Be optimistic, Aquarius. I feel like you are getting to that state. Like I said, you're this knight of wands wanting to move. Okay, get past this confusion and just move. Change up your energy. There's a whole lot waiting for you. All right. All right, Aquarius, I hope this resonated. Please drop a like below. Share and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a fabulous day and I'll catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.